makes me feel like this. It's Guys, it's Jack. While Luke's down in Miami celebrating his spring break, I'm at America's Beach, Coney Island, getting my beach bod. It's 40 degrees. What What's going on right here? Is this a polar plunge? Uh, it is. They swim every Sunday from the beginning of November till the end of April at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And this is the first circle. This is the first circle they've ever done. They do every five minutes, they do. Oh, this is called the Coney Island Polar Bear Club, and it's been around since 1903. Look at the polar bear. It's an accurate representation of their habitat. Is there a reason why they, they do this? Is it like raising awareness for something, like health? They're doing it for the sheer love of being in the ocean. Have you guys done it before? No. <laughs> what brought you guys back just to, just to watch? My husband. They're quite a group of people. They all have crazy different backgrounds, and none of them ever seem to get sick with colds. They ever. It's and the they're most very amazing friendly. Thing. Right now, they're making a circle. I don't know if you guys can hear this, but they're cheering and they're going, hoo, 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 hoo. I think someone's going to go in the middle and start freestyle rapping. They're summoning good vibes. How was it? Breezy today. A little breezy. It's breezier than normal? Yeah. It just started, the wind started picking up. Is this your first time? Are you a cub or are you a full-flown polar bear? Full-fledged bear. 2022. Yeah, that's, that's a no from me, dog. You know, we're just out in downtown Orlando, chilling. I recognize this dude from YouTube. Wait, we got some crazy shit going on here. What's up? You want to come to the interview? No. <laughs> Why not? Oh, he's trying to flirt on some girls. Hey, y'all want to be on a y'all want to be part of a documentary? <laughs> yeah. About fucking thick bitches right here. I like thick bitches. Right, you like thick yes, bitches? yes. How much do you like thick bitches on a scale of one to ten? I would say eleven. Okay. Like respect, show. respect. Yeah. Stop putting fentanyl on Xanax bars and cocaine because you're killing people. So fucking stop doing that shit. Our palm trees are metal. They're built to last. Spring break in Coney Island is a go. I'm here with Abe and Joel. How was the plunge? Uh, very cold. I've uh, been away all season. Need my uh, four swims in a row to uh, keep my membership. It was brutal. How long have you guys been doing it? Uh, I think this is 18 years now for me. I think this is my 11th year. What does this like come to mean to you guys? It's the thing I look forward to in the winter. Like it makes the winter really enjoyable in New York. I'm from down south and uh, the one thing about New York I never liked was the cold. 18 years ago I decided to embrace it. I'm gonna go grab a towel. Yes of course it's freezing. Well, what was going through your head as you were you were in the water? Today it was uh, very nice thinking about new polar bears, new members, just how nice it is to be out here. So what's the membership process like for the new polar bears? It's more about doing your swims. You have to swim 12 times as a, as a cub to become a bear and then get voted in. Most people get voted in. Polar bear! Sometimes I blow the shell a day, not enough. Not enough? Not en <sighs> that was a long blow. Well, I'm working on it, you know, yeah. doing that Wib Hoff thing, you know? How, how was the swim today? Swim was awesome. Every swim is an awesome swim. How long have you been uh, uh, in part of the Polar Bear Club? About 10 years, but I've been swimming since 2000, you know, New Year's Day. I picked it up, you know, it's, it's something I've gravitated to, can't sing, and you don't want to ask me to dance. Can we harmonize? Yeah. Go. You got the lung capacity. I have big lungs, I'm somewhat familiar. I swam in college with the synchronized swimmers. I was the only merman with 20 mermaids in the pool. You keep up with any of the mermaids? Every Sunday right here. I don't know, I've never understood why people do this. Champions. How was it? 
Oh, it was magnificent. Magnificent? Are you a, are you a full bear or are you still a cub? It took me two years because of the pandemic. Now I'm a full bear. Well, that's work ethic. What inspired your your, your swimsuit? Polar bears are old-fashioned. Coney Island's old-fashioned. Highlights, lowlights? All highlights. Even when we come here for snow swims or rain swims or even like today it's windy, it's still just all positive vibes. How we feeling, boys? Fantastic. 100%. Let's go. USA, yes? USA what? Two to one. Soccer, though? What I'm saying 2-0. 2-0? Been a little sloppy last game, but I feel like we'll be all right. We're not usually a soccer country. You think that's changing? 100%. If there's any Americans out there not into soccer, tell them why they got to change up, dude. It's the greatest sport in the world. There's no other explanation. You see all these other countries catching on. You got Brazil catching on. You got... <laughs> Let's go. You, you get it. USA all day, baby. Hey, Luke, guess what? Coney Island's even better than Florida. Ignore that red flag. How was it? It was cold. Old? Are you, do you always wear a suit to these events? Special occasion. Special occasion. Excuse me, are you guys here on spring break? No. Can we interview you guys about Cody Island? Women hate me. I'm Epi. Hi. Well, I'm a singer-songwriter. I just released a new album this February and we're doing a music video. So what's the album title? Speechless. It's kind of singer-songwriter pop with some soul and jazz vibes. What's your favorite song on your album? It's called Lights Out. I moved to New York and I, I knew my life in Finland was kind of over, so that's when I wrote the song called Lights Out. Like, a change of life. Yeah. Peace for everybody. Peace and love. Peace and love. Hey guys, welcome to downtown Orlando. This is Gianna reporting live. We like sniffing salts around here. Dude, what are sniffing salts? Crackhead Central! It's crack in a bottle. It smells good, it smells good. Downtown Orlando is where you get fucking creepy and weird. Creepy and weird, Jersey Shore, motherfucker. Don't do the sniffs. What are the sniffs? It's a potion that makes you feel like this. It's made from expired raisins. It's Cajun seasoning. I think they're talking about cocaine. Whose idea was it to make this the face of Coney Island? Oh yeah, like, come on, let's go have a good time. Come ride with my cyclone. It's just, it's... No Coney Island spring break is complete without gobbling a couple glizzies. Joey Chestnut had 76 hot dogs in 10 minutes, which averages out to about one hot dog every eight seconds. Let's see if I can even beat his average. Are you from Coney Island? I'm from France. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I know. Are you a photographer or a big yeah, photographer? documentary photographer. You know, I love shooting Coney Island because it's like iconic and there's so many like great live scenes and weird shit going on so it's it's amazing i love this place yeah what's the weirdest or most interesting thing you've you've documented oh my god that's uh that's uh <sighs> you know there's like those people with the like almost like the cobra the snakes they're just like you know walking around on the beach and that's pretty wild to me yeah is there like a coney island in france like uh where's that oh i think that's very, very unique to here you know that's why like my friends are actually visiting from france what do you like the most about coming to new york f being from france how cosmopolitan how international it is you know you have like people from literally everywhere in the world and like you go from russian neighborhood to a uh, jewish orthodox to a uh, puerto rican neighborhood you know, it's so diverse. If I could ask you a quick favor. You saw us recording as I was yeah. saying I was going to eat this hot dog in under eight seconds. Could you hold the mic and count to eight as I eat this hot dog and see if I can beat it? Okay, three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> 20 seconds have passed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I got some water. <laughs> So dry. That's why they soaked them in water before. Yeah, you you did you did pretty well. Clear eyes, full heart, can't lose. What's up, guys? So you might have noticed Jack has been in the last couple. Excuse me, what episode? That's because Jack is gonna be the new host of Excuse Me What. So when I started this show in June 2020, I didn't know what it was gonna be, and dude, it's ended up being amazing. I've traveled the country and I've met 
some of the most interesting, hilarious, amazing people. I've been to some of the weirdest, wildest places and events. I would have never gotten these experiences if it wasn't for the show, if it wasn't for you guys watching and supporting. Thank you so much for all the support and thank you for watching me these last two years. It's been such a fun, wild ride. It's been so cool seeing all the messages, meeting so many fans across the country, taking pictures with all you guys. But right now, I just have to focus on my stand-up career and the other projects that I have going for myself. And I hope that you'll watch me in those and support all those. And I really hope that you'll continue to support Excuse Me What. Jack is the new host now. Jack is an up-and-coming comedian in New York City. He's a funny dude. He's a great dude. And I really urge you to just keep watching, keep supporting, keep sharing the clips and the episodes with your friends. I, I built this thing up and I want to pass the torch on to Jack. I want him to keep the show going and I want you guys to keep enjoying it. So thank you guys so much for watching me these last two years. I love you. Peace.